To write the net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HCl, we have magnesium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. We use these rules here. First thing we need to do is balance the equation. It looks like we need to put a two here and then a two over here. That would balance the molecular equation. Once we've done that, then we need to write the state for each of these substances here. So magnesium hydroxide, hydroxides often aren't soluble in water. So we should check and make sure whether it's soluble in water on a solubility table. So we look at our solubility table here, we find magnesium, and then across the top, the negative ions, hydroxide. So we'll go over and down on our table. And that I there, that means it's insoluble. It's not gonna dissolve in water, it's gonna be a solid. So the state for the magnesium hydroxide in our net ionic equation, that's gonna be a solid. Okay. Hydrochloric acid, that's going to be aqueous. That'll dissolve in water. It's a strong acid, a strong electrolyte. And then chlorides, they're very soluble. So this is going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water as well. And then water, that's just a liquid. So we have the states for each substance. So now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So when we look at magnesium hydroxide, it's not a strong electrolyte. So we're not going to split that apart into its ion. We're just going to write MgOH2. And I'll write the states at the end. I won't write them in now. To that, we know that hydrogens in group one on the periodic table has a positive charge, one plus. Chlorine has a one minus. So when we split this up, we have our H plus ions, and we have two of them. So we put a two here. Plus, we have our chloride ions, Cl minus. And this two, it applies to everything. So we have two of these chloride ions as well. These are the reactants. For the products, we have our magnesium chloride. Magnesium group two on the periodic table, two plus ionic charge. We said the chlorine has a minus. So for the products, we'll write Mg two plus, plus we have the chloride ion here. And this subscript two means we have two of them. So we need to put a two in front as our coefficient. And then water in net ionic equations, we don't split liquids apart, just like we don't split solids apart. So for the liquid water, we'll just put plus two H2O. This is what we call the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. These are on both sides. And the only thing I see on both sides is in the Reactants here, I have two Cl minus, and then in the products, I have two Cl minus. I can cross those out, but everything else is unique. So that's going to leave me with a net ionic equation of this MgOH2 plus 2H plus gives me Mg2 plus plus 2H2O. Let me clean this up and write the states in. And this is the net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HCl, magnesium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. We have our solid magnesium hydroxide, it's insoluble, plus our two hydrogen ions. We get the magnesium ion plus two waters. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.